Hello and welcome to Gardening in 58 North. Today I've just noticed that my frangipani is finally starting to grow. You can see here it's got some lovely new fresh growth on the tips there. And um, this is the first time it's actually grown, started growing in March. I think possibly because I've got the new pot now and it's a lot happier than normal. Because most years it starts growing in, um, in June, so this is quite good this year. I've also had the flat a little bit warmer this year, which might be part of it. But the reason it's part of the reason it's lost its leaves this year is because it got some thrips. And I've almost got rid of them, and I don't want them to come back again because they'll feed on the new growth, on the new leaves, and they'll do really well, and then decimate the plants. So what I've done is I've got some really soapy, really soapy sponge here. You can see there, it's just normal washing up liquid, and I'm just simply gonna to wipe all the leaves and stems with this because. Um, so, when it actually comes into contact with insects, it suffocates them, and it's a, it's a good way of killing insects without using pesticides or any nasty chemicals. Uh, so it's just basically a simple soap wash I'm giving it. So uh, I have to be very careful, I have to only be very gentle on the new growth, and I can't do much on the new growth, but what I will do after this, once the soap is dried, I will use a special soap spray that I have, which is SB Plant Invigorator. And that also has soap in it and also some oils which suffocate the insects. But it also has a feed which feeds the plants, so that's quite good. But I want to use this method and the other method. So I'm also going up the stems because I know that the thrips, they might be hiding on the stems. So this will help kill any of those ones as well. Especially as the plant is currently dormant, there's not going to be a lot of thrips around. And if there are, they might also be dormant waiting for the new growth. So stems is something that you want to get completely covered as well and this is something you want to do it's quite good to do at the beginning of the year before the growth comes on it just to make sure there's nothing nasty growing on any, any nasty insects it works on most insects but it's thrips that I've got the real problem with because with the aphids I've actually got miniature wasps in my flat which, which kill the aphids so they're dealt with but it's just thrips so that's it all, all rinsed and the next thing I'll do is I'll get the spray once it's dried. Okay so that's the soap now dried on and I've got my SP plant invigorator ready. As I said it basically is a strong soap that also has some kind of special oils in it which help suffocate the insects but at the same time it also feeds the plant and also produce, I mean, it produces a protective film which stops any powdery mildew, so it's, it's, it's an all-round good, good thing to use. So I'm just going to completely soak the leaves so they're dripping wet, because they have to be completely soaked, including the underside as well. And this stuff, because it's not pesticide, if you get a bit on your skin, I wouldn't worry too much, but it's still, if you do get any on your skin, I would wash it off straight away, just in case there's, because it is quite a powerful soap, and it might give you a rash or something. So I'm also going to get the shoots completely covered, Especially I couldn't get them very well with a sponge. And not to forget this little one down here. And I'm just going to do a little bit on the tops of the stems where the stems are still green because that's the most likely place where the thrips are still going to be hiding. And a little bit on the breast as well just to make sure. So that's it fully done. I will, um, I will keep spraying it probably once a week with the SB Plant Invigorator just to make sure there's not any other thrips hiding hiding there that might have survived this application. But that's my frangipani now coming back into growth and I'll give you guys an update when I put on some nice fresh growth in, in springtime. 